recording between stopping the recording between each games. Um, and let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's go to Knight's Tribal. It's another deck I like to play. Um, yeah, we don't need to see that. I don't know if Windows added that, or it looks like I just updated the client, so it looks like that's coming from MTGO. Um, so I don't know if there's not that many people playing Modern again. Maybe we'll we'll catch that last guy. Um, I don't think this... Because it, it's, it's a mono-white tribal deck, so I don't think it's going to fare too well if we come into any burn. Um, the side we're, we're just doing like one-off games here. The sideboard does have a lot of, of red hate cards, but nothing in the main board, really. Um, but this deck actually fares pretty well. It's, it's still what I would consider to be a casual deck, though. Um, and I... No, it's it's mono white, so I don't you know, there's no fetch lands or anything. Um so we can join somebody else's game. This is taking a minute. Cool. And yeah, that's good enough to keep. We got a lot of land, so the Knight of the White Orchid isn't going to do much for us, I don't think. But we can come down hitting on turn two. Um, I think that there's not many one drops. I think I'm running Student of Warfare, and that's really the main. Is this. Don't. It's ridiculous. It's almost as bad as like people in like the five man dungeons in World of Warcraft just like being pissy about playing. I don't even think they drew a hand on that one. So now we wait. All right, this this person looks serious. Their name looks serious. Not a good hand at all. The only thing I can think of is that the Knight of the White Orchid would, you know, because we would need land, but yeah, we, we can't. Yeah, it's cool. It's better. Knight of the White Orchid will probably need this here, which is good. Scry one. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let, let's keep this. And so the strategy here is that he's going to have more land... Which is going to allow us to fetch up something from Knight of the White Orchid. Meanwhile, we can keep throwing down the lifelink guys. And I need to swap that land out for one of those Zendikar lands. I've got them. Yep, that's it. Okay, so he's on some Celestia. Yep, kind of similar to what I was playing just a moment ago. Um, so we're going to need, we might even drop, um, Honor of the Pure. I don't know. We, we might want to drop in Honor of the Pure. There's about 50 minutes search or, or, oh, is he on, I don't know if I have any enchantment removal in here. I don't think I do. So, we might need to, let's see, where's the revealed enchanter? Okay, so he's going to make a bunch of tokens. So then we might need to go wide here, if he's doing tokens. Um, Sigil Pal, First Strike, Exalted. So we get the path. So, okay, so here's what we can do. Drop this. Get our planes. And then we have... We have our path mana up. For when we... Um, for when he tries to attach this to something, then we can path it.
And the life link... That sound always catches me off guard. The, the lifelink isn't bad to have. I don't think it's going to really be our saving grace in this game. He's either going to win through enchantments or... Okay. Car. So, he, so he's still setting up here. So we might need to leave path mana open for another turn. So now it's time for... Honor of the Pure, because this dude has three... Drop the planes. I'm not sure. And then we still have path mana. And let's go in with both. Screw it. Let's go in with both. Taking, taking it to him. Bringing the heat. I'm pathing anything that Desk gets attached to. Because he looks like he's pretty much set up now. I bet we'll get a concede off of him off of this, too. Because this, you know, if he tutored for it, that's that's probably his whole game plan, at least for the time being. Because he hasn't attacked. He can't attack into me. From here on out, we got probably got a couple turns of chump blocks. So I might throw down the lifelink. I'm a little bit hesitant. I'm not even watching the game. I'm just running my mouth. I'm a little bit hesitant about a Wrath effect now. Because um, it looks like he's playing a little bit of control-ish type stuff. So I don't want to go too wide here. But we also want to close the game out before he sets up again. Brave the Elements. So I think we can commit to the board again. And we can use Brave the Elements to save our guys if need be. So again, we're going to leave up two mana... I, I'm playing this pretty cautiously, actually. I probably shouldn't have dropped that creature before I attack, because it does nothing other than advertise that I have, like, a load of creatures in my hand. So, any Wrath effects now, we're getting uh, Brave the Elements up. Cool. Another win. We're doing great. Awesome. It's pretty good. pretty good match. It, it's a fun... Uh, fun deck to play. I definitely recommend it. Um, let's do another one.